Welcome to the Marvelous Designer Introduction Series. In this series, we will cover the different methods of basic garment creation and getting started in Marvelous Designer. In this tutorial, we will be making a darted dress starting with a t-shirt from the modular configurator mode, or you can use the t-shirt that fits your avatar already. In this case, we are doing a pattern manipulation to create a different garment from an existing garment. To make it easier to follow along with the lesson, please reset your user settings or make sure your mouse presets are on the three button or regular mouse. If you do not know how to change your settings, please watch our UI video first. For those using Marvelous Designer 9.5 and above, we have grouped more tools together for a cleaner user interface. Please long press the left mouse button on the tool to view a list of all of the tools in the tool group. So to begin, we will be importing our avatar into the workspace by going to the library tab, choosing avatar and choosing female B and importing her into the workspace. Next, for modular configurator mode, we do wanna have her arms at her sides or in an attention pose. So we can go to the pose file folder and choose the attention pose option, pose and joint translation and select okay. And now we can close the library tab and go to the modular configurator. These are the blocks. You have men and women, and you can select women. You'll see jackets, polos, shirts, t-shirts, trench coats, but we're gonna go ahead and choose t-shirts. And I'm going to select set in sleeve, and you'll see the different options for the necklines and sleeves as well as in the 2D window, you will see the modular configurator frames. I'm going to pick this V-neck t-shirt here and a short sleeve. And now we are done with the modular configurator so we can close that tab. We do not need the modular frames anymore so we can go ahead and remove those by right-clicking in the 2D window and selecting Remove Modular Relationship. The frames will be deleted. Yes. Now we will be doing pattern manipulation and lengthening the hem. So we do wanna move her hands out of the way to avoid any collision issues. So we're going to go back to the library tab and put her back into the default or the A pose. By double-clicking, choosing Pose and Joint Translation, and selecting OK. This will simulate the garment as she moves so that it stays on her arms. And there we go. Closing the Library tab, and now we can clean up our workspace in the 2D window. Removing the sleeves out of the way for now, including the neck ribbing, because we will not be making any changes to the sleeve or the neck ribbing, we are just moving them out of the way so that we don't make any changes to them by accident. And we're gonna move the shirt up a little bit. And you can see that these pattern pieces have a blue line connecting them together. This blue line indicates that these pattern pieces are symmetrically linked. So anything you do to one pattern piece will be done to the other half. This makes it easier so that you don't have to worry about doing the same thing on both sides. So the first step I'm going to do is I want to merge these two pattern pieces together. So I want to right click the line that I want them to be symmetrically linked across. So I'm gonna right click the center front line and choose merge. With merge, you see that line has become a dashed line, and that dashed line indicates that these pattern pieces are symmetrically linked across this mirrored line. It is the same as having your pieces symmetrically linked. It is now just across a center line. Now I do wanna see how this pattern fits on her shadow and the 2D texture is getting in my way. So I can go up to the toolbar and select the Show 2D Textures option and toggle that off. So now everything is just an outline, which makes it easier for me to use my Transform Pattern tool to move my pattern pieces over 
the avatar's shadow. Next, I am lining up the waistlines together so that they are the same. I'm just making sure. And now we can start pattern editing. Since we are turning this t-shirt into a dress, we need to lower the waist and increase the length of the hem. So to do that, we are going to start off with the edit pattern tool, and I'm going to highlight the hem and the waist points. I'm going to just go ahead and move them down you can hold shift it if that makes it easier for you. But sometimes it makes it diagonal, so just be aware of what happens. So I've moved that waistline a little lower for the front and the back pattern pieces. And now I'm going to do the same to the hem. If you look in the 3D window, you will see that the fabric has also lengthened. And this is a great example as to why we do want to move the hands out of the way from the attention pose. If her hands were still in the way, it might have caused collision issues. So we're going to go ahead and simulate and let that fabric settle. So you could stop your garment here. This is a sheath dress that's unfitted but we do wanna add some darts in this case. So we're gonna go ahead and see in the 3D window where and how we want the darts to fit. To do that, we can use the tack tools. There is the edit tack, tack, and tack on avatar. For this, we will use the tack tool and we'll just do two lines about the same size in the front and in the back, where her waist should be. And then we're going to simulate and see how that fits. But depending on the pattern, you might not want it to be too tight, so you can check the strain map in the display options. And you can see that it's red in the front and red in the back only at those points. So this fit might actually work pretty well. We can always change it afterwards. So we'll go ahead and turn off that strain map and apply our darts in these spaces. To apply our darts, we can go to the internal line tool, long press, and choose the dart option. As you're about to apply the dart, you do want to apply it below the apex on the bust. So you can just click on the avatar to see where that is approximately. and you can start your dart below that. Ending the dart above the hip bone. And we're going to do the same to the back, starting at this arm line, because there is, there's not as strong of an apex here. Again, we don't want it to be too wide. And now we can go ahead and delete those tacks. Using the Edit Tack tool, we can select those lines and delete. And then to see how this fits, we can use the Segment Sewing tool and sew those darts together. and simulate. If you want to include actual wearing ease like in a real garment that has wrinkles, you would be pretty much done here. So if we wanted to use this for a woven fabric, so something that's not going to stretch, you can save this by going to File, Save As, and Garment. And you can pick a folder, so I'll just go to my desktop choose lessons and dress and choose woven darted dress and save. If you want this to be a closer fit, you can edit the pattern itself or you can shrink it by going to the property editor.
you can change the stretch in the properties by selecting all of those pattern pieces that are on the body and going to shrinkage weft and making it a little smaller, like 95% and seeing how that simulates. And you'll see it fits her a little bit tighter. Not super tight, but just a little tighter. And that is how to use modular mode to make a dress. Thank you so much for watching. Here are the links to the next videos in this tutorial series. The order does not matter, but we do recommend watching all of these tutorials as they will feature different methods of beginning creation of basic blocks, which you will use later in the tutorial series. If you liked this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more. If you have any questions about getting started in Marvelous Designer or this lesson, please leave a comment below and we will do our best to answer your questions. If you want more information on Marvelous Designer, check out our website, forum, and official Discord channels, which are all linked in the description box below.